Well, after China unveiled its ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, the last few months have seen a buzz building on India's role in the region and whether it has an alternative to counter the Dragon's March. Now, after months of behind-the-scenes diplomacy, we will witness the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi laying the groundwork for this credible alternative in Manila on Sunday. The leaders from the United States, Japan, Australia and India will be holding a dialogue on the sidelines of the ASEAN summit in the Philippines. Now, in diplomatic terms, this is a quadrilateral. And despite this being the 50th year of the ASEAN, it's the rise of the Indo-Pacific cooperation that seems to be the flavor of the season. For India, the ASEAN and East Asia summits will be significant to the extent that for the first time in a decade, officials from India, the US, Japan and Australia will come together to revive the quadrilateral initiative. It was launched in 2007, but then Australia pulled out of it, leaving the initiative in the cold storage. But now the expectation in Manila is that the quadrilateral will be revived after a long gap. Also for India, the phrase Indo-Pacific is gaining currency in the ASEAN and especially after the US put its weight behind the new nomenclature, indicating thereby that it wants India to play a more high visibility, high profile role in the region and become a net provider of security to countries in the region and beyond. Ramesh Ramachandran, for we on in Manila, the Philippines. Well, so what exactly are the goals of this quadrilateral? Well, the alliance is being seen as a clear counter to China's attempt at gaining allies in the region. Now, the second goal is to expand trade ties through a liberalization of the existing rules and by promoting free trade in the region. Now, the third goal is also to provide security assurances to the smaller countries which fall in the ambit of these four larger military powers. The alliance could also inspire confidence in the region, especially after China's attempt at undermining the freedom and openness in the region. Well, after China revealed the ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, there's been a lot of buzz over the last few months around India's role and also an alternative to counter the Dragon's March. 